Hello everyone, channel 100x Zoom. Today you will see how to repair or clean these binoculars Carl Zeiss Jena DKM 10X50. This symbol here signifies the mark of quality. The optics here are premium, meaning they were hand-picked, inspected and are of the highest quality. These binoculars were manufactured in the 1963 year according to the serial number. And over 60 years, various microflora have accumulated in these binoculars and started to develop. There are clearly visible traces of fungal activity on the prisms and lenses. These binoculars have a full single layer coating on all optical surfaces. However, in some places, fungus is developing and multiplying, which is eating away at the coating. Therefore, after cleaning, there will no longer be any anti-reflective coating in those areas. If you visit the official ZEIS website in the service section, it states that binoculars with fungus are not covered by warranty repair. So, when you buy a brand new modern binocular, you need to keep it in a dry, well-ventilated place and make sure it is properly stored. And possibly even allow sunlight to reach it. In this case, the fungus will develop very minimally, or not at all. To clean the binoculars, you need to have some tools as well as, for example, alcohol and a blower like this. Also, a few different screwdrivers. First, I always unscrew the objective tubes. If it can't be done manually, I help myself with tools. Using this tool, it's advisable not to mix them up. Place the left one carefully on the left and the right one on the right. Next, unscrew the three screws on the covers. Next, we try to unscrew the lenses. First, we unscrew in the middle. Then there is a locking screw here, very, very small. It needs to be unscrewed carefully. And then, just using this kind of tool, unscrew the clamping screw. Now carefully lift the right lens and gently lift the left lens. Place them accordingly on the left and right. This one manufactured the parts very, very precisely. The left lens has one screw specifically, while the right lens has three clamping screws, respectively. Next, we very carefully and gently pull out the sleeve with the linings and then, with utmost care and precision, insert it into this pipe, ensuring that when unscrewing, we don't damage or deform anything in the process. Now we unscrew one screw at a time and take out the prism covers. The binoculars are quite old and contain a lot of dust, dirt and debris, and other particles and crumbling sealant, which has dried out over the years and now needs to be completely removed from the binocular's body. We carefully take out each prism and place it in the correct spot so that we don't mix anything up later. From this side, carefully take out the anti-glare covers to avoid scratching the optics and we also carefully and delicately place the prisms in the correct and precise position. Next, I first carefully wash the body, treat it with alcohol and then gently apply a very thin layer of oil. I do this so that when very small particles of dust get in, they do not settle down on the optics itself but instead stick to the body of the binoculars. Look here. There is indeed a large amount of fungus. It is currently developing and damaging the coating on the optics. It definitely, absolutely and completely requires to be removed. Now we take the prism, first wash it under running water, wipe off the water and then apply the spray. And then we begin the process of wiping the surface thoroughly and carefully, making sure every part is completely clean. If the binoculars are of high quality, then the coating is also applied quite well. We check the condition of the prism. We can also blow off any dust particles. Then we carefully and gently set the prism aside and move on to the next three prisms. Also, don't forget to carefully and thoroughly clean the prism covers. Now let's move on to the next large lens. To unscrew it, you need to use a specialized tool. But to be on the safe side, it's better to simply cover the lens with a piece of paper. I do this to avoid scratching the lens. 
We carefully remove the sleeve with the lens and then take out the adjustment ring. We cannot remove the lens any further because it is sealed or crimped in the housing. Similarly, we rinse the lens under running water, apply spray, and start wiping it until it becomes clean. Disassembling the eyepiece is very, very difficult. If it is clean, it is better not to try and disassemble it to avoid damaging the optics. The eyepiece consists of several groups of lenses. In most cases, the lens in the middle is perfectly clean, so only the outer ones need to be wiped. Well, now we start carefully assembling the prisms in reverse order. Each time, don't forget to blow air to ensure there is no dust inside. We close the prism covers, screw them on, because it will be very difficult to do it later. It's better to do it now. And we screw on the lens body. It consists of two parts. After that, we take the lens with the adjustment ring and insert it into the binoculars. We slightly screw it with the clamping ring, but not too tightly. Now, from the eyepiece side, we insert the prisms. We securely mount the clamping spring and close with the covers. And tighten it. Next, you need to apply some oil, not too much and not too little, so that the eyepieces move up and down smoothly. The repair and cleaning of the binoculars are complete, only the collimation remains. The binoculars are only slightly misaligned, so I will need to carefully adjust the collimation rings on the lenses, and I think they will be completely functional and ready for use. You can watch my separate video tutorial, All Types of Collimation, to see how to do it. The link will be in the description under the video. Thank you all for watching the video. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and see you next time.